Hi, I'm Jonathan Banks, Executive Automotive Analyst at NADA's Used Car Guide with this month's industry update. When taken at face value, the statistics for both the new and used vehicle market indicate a pullback in demand compared to prior months. However, this month's statistics are misleading. The automotive industry is continuing to maintain a steady pace even with the uncertainty revolving around the contentious debate of the budget and debt ceiling. On the new vehicle side, September's performance appears to be disastrous after months of year-over-year -year improvement, but this outcome was driven by the much publicized way of recording Labor Day sales in August's tally. This effectively pulled ahead sales into August, which recorded a 16 million SAR and resulted in a more moderate sales pace in September of 15.2 million SAR. On the bright side, 2013 September tally substantially eclipsed 2012 September figures by 3.4%. On the use side, prices showed a dramatic decline compared to what we have been accustomed to. Prices of used units up to eight model years in age fell by 2.6% in September, ending a three-month period in which depreciation averaged at an uncommonly low rate of 1.2%. This also marked the highest rate of decline recorded since October 2012's 2.9% tumble. 2013 models sold at auction, which are common this time of year due to rental returns, grew by more than 24% compared to August. This caused some downward pressure in the rental-heavy segments including small and mid-sized cars as well as minivans, resulting in about a 3% decline for these segments. Overall, the market declined approximately 2.5%, with most segments following a similar path. The exceptions were pickups and large SUVs, which continue to enjoy strong demand. Both segments finished the month with declines of about 1%. The close of the third quarter continued to support NADA's positive outlook for 2013, with prices on vehicles up to eight model years in age outpacing prices in 2012 by about a half a percent. At the segment level, pickups and large SUVs continue to maintain an 8% price improvement relative to 2012. And minivans and crossover utilities are also in the black, with about 3.5% and 2% gains respectively. So you may be wondering why the market is showing such positive results when September decline seems so extreme. The answer is that while September's drop was rather large when compared to the previous 10 months, it is actually right in line with the historical price movements for this time of year. In fact, the decline this month outperformed NADA's seasonal forecast for the period, resulted in a very slight uptick in NADA's used vehicle price index. NADA expects the used market will continue to show strength and is supported by strong demand fundamentals. The perennial debt ceiling debate will likely drive down consumer confidence, like it did in 2011. In fact, confidence slipped some in September. However, it remains well above levels recorded in the first quarter of this year. NADA does expect depreciation will be slightly more pronounced than it was observed over 2012's atypically strong fourth quarter, but on a full year basis, used vehicle prices are still scheduled to finish the year from 0.5 to 1% higher than 2012's record level. For more information, please download NADA's guidelines. Thank you.